What did the oldest and most distant galaxies in the universe look like? What would happen if a telescope were so powerful that it could push the boundaries of what we know about the early universe? The Hubble telescope has already given us a breathtaking view of deep space, but the James Webb telescope promises to take us even further back in time. Why does this latest glimpse into the cosmos change everything scientists have previously assumed? How did it all begin? Throughout human history, thousands of scientists, philosophers, and religious people have pondered the beginning of time and the origins of creation. Many thousands of years ago, people made up stories about a god who said there would be light. Later scientists tried to find out the truth and to check if there was a shred of truth in the old creation myths. The Big Bang Theory originated about 100 years ago and provided for the first time coherent approaches which united all up to this time known sizes of cosmology, astronomy, and physics. The idea was a starting point in a singularity, then a bang and a boiling hot primeval soup spread within fractions of a second in a space in which, before, very probably nothing existed. For a long time, nobody doubted this theory. It seemed to be too coherent. But then the James Webb Space Telescope showed something on its first images that should not exist at all, according to the theory of the Big Bang. HD1 is a galaxy estimated to be 13.5 billion light years away. That's an unbelievable 100 million light years further than the next galaxy, GNZ11. HD1 existed 300 million years after the assumed Big Bang. With this discovery came some fundamental new questions. How could there have already been fixed galaxies of great luminosity and order in the still so young universe? And is the discovery real at all? The shape, brightness, and stellar richness of this old galaxy is so outstanding that the discovery can never be a galaxy conforming to the laws and calculations of the Big Bang. Scientists were shocked, some were enthusiastic, and others vehemently reject the discovery until today and suspect some kind of mistake. In the photo, the oldest sources of light in the cosmos ever seen by a human being show up only as diffuse red collections of light. A layman can't see much here, but the telescope's fine measurement sensors and thousands of computer algorithms can draw so much information from this light that the human eye alone could never do. When studying thousands of galaxies in an image like this, it's common to first extract the photometry for each source with each available filter. Then, also using photometry, the redshift of each light source is determined. Observed quantities, such as apparent brightness, can be converted to physical quantities by computers once the redshift is known. The greater the distance in the space-time continuum, the higher the redshift. Astronomers can use this effect to calculate how far light has traveled to reach us, and thus the age and distance of a galaxy. This photometric redshift is easy to determine, but not quite as accurate in its results as spectroscopic redshifts, which can only be determined by a high-quality light spectrum. Spectroscopic observations always require much more observing time per galaxy. To perform a fine spectrometer analysis, a single galaxy would need to be represented in a larger image area so that the observed light is better distributed on the detector. Currently, scholars and cosmologists are still arguing whether the discovery of the oldest galaxy may be due to an error in the redshift measurement. Is the Big Bang a mistake? According to the most widely accepted cosmological models, the universe began 13.8 billion years ago with the Big Bang. From the Big Bang, the cosmic dark ages prevailed. There were loose plumes of particles and incredible heat. The young universe was however much too hot, as that matter could have formed. Only many hundred thousands years later, the first atoms bound together and formed more stable molecules. Very slowly, the first matter was formed, then clouds of gas and dust gathered which at some point began to oscillate so violently that the first stars were formed in the heart of the clouds, at which moment there was light in the universe. Although the Big Bang theory does not say exactly from where there were first stars, it's quite certain that these processes took several million years. Even then, there were only single giant stars with a short lifetime. Hundreds of millions of years passed before new generations of stars were formed, and then, we haven't even reached the point when stars began to form complex galaxies. But if James Webb is to be believed, there were ready-made, highly organized and starry galaxies already 300 million years after the Big Bang. Despite the assumptions, 
astronomers could never be sure what the early universe really looked like. So, astronomers continued to test the limits of their instruments and built a telescope like James Webb. Thanks to its highly sensitive infrared technology, this telescope, placed in space, can see further and sharper than any of its predecessors and any of the best telescopes on Earth. Webb's mission was clearly to find out what the cosmic dawn looked like. James Webb's tenure of service began in the summer of 2022 with big headlines proclaiming that astronomers would now, for the first time, look out into the vast expanse and clarify the beginnings of the cosmos. Then, the discovery of the most distant and oldest galaxy yet observed was announced. HD1 was not originally discovered by James Webb at all. It was an image taken by Hubble, the ancient space telescope, of which Italian researchers recognized the galaxy. On April 7, 2022, it was hailed as the discovery of the most distant astronomical object ever observed. HD1 is located at a distance of 13.5 billion light years. Even then, the first doubts about the discovery arose. Such an old and luminous galaxy did not fit the picture. The ALMA telescope in Chile, however, confirmed the find shortly after. Nevertheless, some cosmologists did not want to believe the age of the galaxy. All the world looked toward the launch of the James Webb telescope. This was, in April, still on its journey to its location hundreds of thousands of kilometers away from the Earth in the universe. Webb was supposed to shed light on the matter and definitively rule out a mistake. Instead of doubting the age of HD1, James Webb delivered an image showing even more galaxies than HD1 and probably much older ones. The shock was deep, and since then, thousands of astronomers worldwide are desperately searching for answers. We see the past. Telescopes are marvelous pieces of human technology. With giant mirrors, they catch light that has traveled billions of years through space. To look into space is to look into the past, since light does not travel infinitely fast and takes time to travel through space to reach us. That's why astronomers explain that we see this distant object as it was 300 million years ago, almost immediately after the Big Bang, when our universe supposedly came into being. HD1 and several other very old galaxy candidates have been observed by international teams of astronomers with a variety of telescopes for a total of 1,200 hours. Researchers need to be quite sure before they can set about revising old theories or may have to admit entirely new cosmological models. To this end, the Subaru Telescope, the Vista Telescope, the UK Infrared Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter or Submillimeter Array, and the Spitzer Space Telescope were all pointed together at the same point in space. Together, the world's best telescopes should identify the true distance of the faint red object. In the same way, before HD1, the oldest galaxy to date, GNZ 11, was confirmed. This galaxy lies in the direction of the Great Bear and held the record for the most distant galaxy for several years. GNZ 11 is 13.4 billion light years away at a redshift of 11.09. This means it existed 400 million years after the Big Bang, but is a full 100 million years younger than HD 1. The brightness of the galaxy was also not quite as shocking as that of HD 1. The galaxy shines so brightly in ultraviolet light that it became clear that this galaxy is bursting with activity. Scientists, therefore, speculate HD 1 may be a starburst galaxy where stars are being produced at a rapid pace. Before James Webb came along, it looked like these might be the very first stars in the universe. Scientists were curious, because the assumed first stars of the so-called Population 3 existed until that time only in theory, and nobody had seen them yet. They would have been huge, hot, and luminous white or bluish giant stars, which produce chemical elements heavier than hydrogen for the first time. However, this assumption could not be confirmed so far, and shortly later James Webb discovered already several other galaxies, which are probably even older than HD1. 10 times more stars? As it appears at present, all these early galaxies were starbusters, which seethed with star formation only in such a way. Even if this means they were very old stars, or actually the population three stars we were looking for, the question still remains as to why the first stars supposedly formed in complex galaxies and did not shine as loners in space. 
researchers have proposed two new theories to explain the high energy output of ancient galaxies. One theory is that they could have a supermassive black hole at their center that is 100 million times as massive as the Sun. This would be the oldest black hole of this size yet discovered. HD1 and other very old galaxies, on the other hand, could be home to some of the universe's first stars, which are completely different from what scientists have previously imagined. Last but not least, researchers may also have to face the unpleasant truth that previous theories about the beginning of the universe were simply wrong. The Big Bang could never be proven. Only the calculation of the circumstances was correct. In this way, already many predictions about the universe were made, which were confirmed later. However, we must not exclude that this method for the determination of the processes in the cosmos always works. So, it could be that neither HD1 nor the many other very old galaxies discovered by James Webb are the oldest. Perhaps Webb discovers soon galaxies which existed still more near at the so far assumed Big Bang, and at the latest, then researchers must rethink. Subscribe to not miss the upcoming top videos.